You're crazy. I'm never scared. Mistakes are made. Never. Just keep whisking. Oh, love Christmas. I am just loving life. Welcome back to Baking with Brianna. I have a very special guest today, Christina Matisic. You might have recognized her because she had a little show back in the day called, is it Shopping Bags? Shopping Bags was one. Yes. And then it was Grocery Bags. And I'm Christina's Grocery Bag. Okay. A single bag a only. A single There's bag. Some, yeah. But you kind of know what we're doing because this was your show, but you had more, you had a chef come in to test it after, right? Yes. We would test a recipe and then a chef would come in to see how well we did and how well the recipe turned out. Because it's not always the cook's or chef's fault or no, baker's fault. No, some recipes don't say certain things or they'll say cook at 320 when maybe you yes. shouldn't cook at 320. Okay, so what is this recipe that we're cooking? So we are making chocolate ginger cake with bourbon sauce. It's a Martha Stewart recipe that I found oh, online. Martha. I think it sounds like it could be really good. And Martha Stewart, generally the queen of birth. baking. Exactly. We need to heat stuff first and I have a half a stick of butter. Is that what we needed? Yes. So, far? so we have it at 375, but the recipe says? 325, mm. which we know as experienced bakers, sound a bit low, right? Yes, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Especially for a Bundt cake. So we're not gonna do that. No, uh, I put it at 375 because I know this is low and I have a oven thermometer in there. So I know it's sitting at 350 right now. So don't trust your oven being like, oh, it's yes. at 350. Always get an oven thermometer when you're baking because you will know for sure. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, so butter the nine inch Bundt pan. Dust with cocoa powder and tap out the excess set aside. Already done. Okay, now I digress. We put the butter, molasses, brown sugar, and a quarter cup of water in a medium saucepan over medium low heat. How much molasses? A half a cup. Look at how it comes out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so they said half cup unsulfured molasses. Whatever. 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 <laughs> Robust flavor. Three quarter cup light brown. And, and I pack it. A quarter cup of water. We're good. Okay. We've done everything right so far. And at medium or medium low? <laughs> medium low. Okay. And then stir constantly or? Stirring constantly until the butter has melted. That's the sort of instruction that I'm kind of like a bit loosey goosey with. I feel Stir like constantly. I mean, okay, so I have a fun, fun tip about this, which they also put on the recipe. Mm -hmm. Stir constantly, by the way. Like it comes out so easy. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's like cold and it's like shaved, shaved ice. ice. Jinx. Great more than you need. I'm gonna put the ginger in here. Okay, this is done. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mmm, it smells, smells good. good. <laughs> Stop mm. it. That's what we need. So why do you like baking so much? Because it's just so fun and, I mean, like eating it is one great part. Yeah. Um, put that in here or back there? I mean, and then everyone always just loves eating baked goods, right? He like loves you when you bring baked goods. Yeah, like you're not gonna bring a roast chicken to work and be like, guys, I made a roast chicken. Like maybe you do, but weird. Well, okay, so we have uh, two eggs with a beautiful orange yolk. I love that with organic eggs, uh, whole milk and ginger. You know, I usually don't like deviating from a recipe. However, however, there's no vanilla. So I, if, it might be in the bourbon sauce, but I think I'm gonna put a splash of vanilla in here. All right. It's not in the recipe, but I'm gonna do it. We got some. You're crazy. <laughs> crazy with the vanilla. And you're not even measuring it. I know, free pour. And I had in another episode that I, I saw that one. Yeah, free yes. Pour vanilla. Okay. So I'm starting on the dry ingredients. Cocoa powder. Half a cup. There. Plus more for dusting. Oh, wow. Here's the weird thing about, okay, this is what's confusing me about this recipe. What? The ingredients are not listed in, in the order. order. 
that was a confusing thing because you're, yeah. Yeah. You Martha. Okay. Half cup unsweetened cocoa powder. I'll do this little trick again. No. They wanted a certain kind. Dutch processed cocoa powder. Whatever. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, did we miss anything with this weird, okay. Flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, salt, ground ginger. Right in her. Ground ginger, eggs, milk. Ground ginger. I did one teaspoon ground ginger, grated, peeled. Okay, this is okay, I have it, I have it. Wow, look at that spice rack. I, I like drawer, I like that. We need cinnamon too. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Do we, oh my God. We're going to be a little bit precise with that. Okay. And mix. We'll mix this up. Okay. That's been like five minutes now, oh, right? Yeah. Combine. Whisk to combine. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. <laughs> this is, I'm excited for this. I think this is going to be really good. Molasses, ginger, the cinnamon, that's that's very Christmassy. All good things. This would be a great dish to bring to someone's house if you're invited for Christmas dinner. And it, I don't think it's too hard. Or Christmas morning, like just with coffee oh, and like, you know, lovely. before yeah. brunch or something. Yeah. Okay, so here's that. And then what's the next okay. step? Gently fold the flour mixture into the molasses mixture until just combined. But here's the weird part. There should be lumps remaining. That's, That's interesting. like banana bread. Right, don't overmix is what I think what they're telling. See, I just go like this a, a little bit. And, and then I'll okay. And then it's all gonna go in here. And you did a very nice job of dusting it. I tried. See, now you could use, sometimes they say flour, but because this is a chocolate cake, if you use flour, it's gonna look like it has dandruff all over it. Okay, so how many lumps is good? I'm gonna pour this. Right in here. Lumps and all. So the cake's in the oven. And now we are waiting for this bourbon sauce, which is also Martha Stewart. Which might be a little tricky. Yeah, not for the faint of heart, as so they say, right? I don't know. Put butter, half a stick, or a stick, half a cup. And then they also want egg yolks, two. Two large egg yolks. So she's gonna separate them for us. I can do it, I can do it like this. Did you no, I don't want to. <laughs> Switch sides. Get over. Oh my God, I just got she, fired. Get over here. <laughs> I was so concentrating on the back and forth that I forgot what I, what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, so um, can I put the butter in the pan? I don't know, do you think we should? Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty easy. <laughs> you think I can handle that? What, Christina, what? You can. Ha you think I can handle putting this in yeah, the, yeah, okay, yeah. thank you. This is the interesting part. So we have to put this over, put butter, egg yolks, brown sugar, vanilla, bourbon in a heat proof bowl set over a pan of simmering water. We were wondering, is it a water bath or is it a double boiler? And we've decided to go with double boiler. Yeah, so the water is not touching the bowl it's gonna be steam what is happening over there anyways vanilla is happening recipes obviously at the end of all this for you guys oh now we just wait for 160. that would be a fun show i think i'd rather what would be a fun show king charles having him on the show yeah oh. <laughs> he'd be like what are we doing now <laughs> That's fine. Just keep whisking. <laughs> okay, we're at 150. Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm gonna cry. 152, waiting for 160, guys. 153. This one's really cool because you can set your temperature. So when it, it reaches the temperature, desired temperature, then it will turn a color. This is looking very, oh, it's, it's done, done, it's done, it's yeah. done, it's done. So the cake is cooled. We put it on this cute little stand. And this is warm. Oh, good. I'm so oh, it smells goozy. Okay. The moment of truth. Wait, I'll just try to stop. Dig in. 
try the sauce first. Oh, the sauce is boozy. It is boozy. The sauce is But good. It's really good. Oh. Mm. Wow. I like it. That was good. Cool. Very moist.